Are you guys sick of car vlogs yet? Like, I feel like every video I do, you just sit here and you talk to me for like 20 minutes and then you get like 10 minutes of content when we're there. windows even though it's hot as can be outside right now it's cool don't worry fam i got you these road come on illinois fix your potholes midwest man it, oh my god i'm struggling i'm struggling like oh, i better drive and kill us all <laughs> all right guys what's up welcome back um to this impromptu video that i really didn't plan on making today Actually, I had called my tattoo artist to cancel my appointment for Friday for a different video I'm making that is actually, you'll see, um, probably gonna be the video after this one. So, anyway, call my tattoo artist. I gotta cancel my afternoon appointment. And he's like, well, that's really funny because your boyfriend just called, or I just called your boyfriend because he has an appointment right now and he can't make it. So my boyfriend called me, was like, hey, you want my tattoo appointment? So I was like, I guess I do. Um, wasn't ready for it. My tattoo was for a full four hours. I was gonna finish my side piece. That's not, I'm getting there now. We're probably gonna have about two hours, not enough time to finish my side piece. So I'm actually not sure what I'm getting. I think I'm gonna walk in the door and I think I'm actually gonna get one of the ideas I've had planned for a while now. And obviously a yin yang like I have wanted a yin yang I've had my spot cleared on my foot for a yin yang where I want it that I planned it that I've had it set and I know that's like very cliche but I've always wanted it to me it represents I love the whole idea of the black's bad the white's good it's good in the bad and it's bad in the good and no matter where you look you can find good in the bad and you can find bad in the good and all together it just all meshes together become one giant life on my way to go see my tattoo artist. Getting a yin yang, I'm pretty sure. And I think we're getting Local Ambition 7 tattooed on me. We're getting close and I'm kind of nervous. Um, normally I prepare for this kind of stuff and I haven't prepared yet. So, we're almost there. We're here. Forgot how much I like tattoos. did my tattoo is Eric Beard. He's one of my really good friends and an incredible artist. Make sure you look him up. All of his information will definitely be down below. His shop, Underground Artworks, Edwardsville, Illinois, also be down below. Like Definitely worth it. Sorry I didn't get more footage inside. In case you couldn't tell, I was slightly preoccupied. Um, but this really just helped me remember how much I love tattoos. Here are pictures of the two that I got. And keep in mind that these are definitely still healing. Actually, they're still fresh, so they haven't even started healing yet. Um, so hopefully when they're all finished, I'll take like a full picture and like show you where they're at and what they look like and how they've healed and everything. So why did I choose to put a Local Ambition 7 tattooed on my body? even though I didn't win Local Ambition 7. Local Ambition's not just a reality show, it's also a family. To me, it has been a reflection of where I've been in my life in the last three years. Literally, every dream I had ever had 
except to be on the cover of a magazine has been reached. I wanted to walk a runway, boom, did it. I wanted to be in a magazine, boom, did it. Wanted to be in an international magazine, boom, did it. Wanted to be on a TV show, boom, did it. Wanted to be on the big screen, boom. Our first two episodes are played at Ronnie's Theater more than once, so it's just awesome that I was able to sit down in a theater, watch myself on the big screen, and this year I've been able to put more of my own video production into the TV shows. The fact that in the last three years I went from, I don't know how to do makeup, to look at me, I'm a makeup artist. Makeup artist. Look at me, I'm a model. Model. Look at me, my acting has made it on TV. Look at me, like, I've been able to chase my dreams while still living a normal life. Look at me, I'm on YouTube. Like, okay. Okay. I was a 90s baby, let's put it that way. So I was taught every day, you can do whatever you put your mind to. You can literally achieve anything. And that is just kind of my reminder of that. Like, yes, I can. Like, I have and I can. I'm glad that I was able to enter this part of my life and that this chapter has been so good to me that I want to put it on my body and I want to remember it and I want to share it with people. Like, oh. Let me tell you, go to alwayslatetv.com and watch Local Ambition, okay? You can see season six, seven, and eight, and I'm on all three. <laughs> Kevin, pay me. No, I'm kidding. All right, guys. Um, if you want to see some of Local Ambition, like I said, I'll post all the information down below. Always Late TV. The link should pop up right here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up because I just put ink into my body for you. Actually, I did it for me, but we went together for content, so give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys liked me getting tattooed. Next time, maybe I'll get more footage. I'm still working on trying to get footage while I'm at something instead of opposed to on the way and leaving. Don't worry guys, I'm working on it. If you wanna keep up with some more local ambition stuff, I'll put Chelsea's video, let's say I'll put her over here. So click her head. Uh, Chelsea, the face of Local Ambitions. So she has Local Ambitions YouTube channel. So make sure you go show her some love. Go subscribe to them. Hope you had fun. Thanks for coming.